This is lesson 10-2, complementary and supplementary angles. Refer to angle A, shown at the right. Classify it as right, or acute, right, obtuse, or straight. This little red square at the vertex of the angle is our way of knowing that it is, in fact, a right angle. Whenever you see that symbol, it means a 90-degree angle. Copy the angle onto a piece of paper, then draw a ray that separates the angle into two congruent angles. Angle, label these angles, angles 1 and angle 2. Well, we've copied the angle down here. We're going to use our line tool to try and separate this into two congruent angles. That looks pretty close. This would be angle 1, this would be angle 2. What is the measure of angle 1? The measure of angle 1 is 45 degrees. The measure of angle 2 is 45 degrees as well. Therefore, the sum of the two angles, angle 1 and angle 2, would be 90 degrees. Copy the original angle onto a piece of paper, then draw a ray that separates the angle into two non-congruent angles. I'll go back and get the line tool. Here's a copy of the angle again. We draw this angle like this, clearly not congruent. We'll call this angle 3 and angle 4. What is true about the sum of the angles a uh, measure of angles 3 and angle 4. Well, because this is a 90 degree angle, the measure of angle 3 plus the measure of angle 4 must equal 90 degrees. Complete exercise 1 for 6 for angle B, shown at the right. Well, angle B appears to be a right angle. It is uh, therefore a 180 degree angle, or a straight angle, I should say, not a right angle, a straight angle. If I take my line tool again, and divide it into two congruent angles, This would be angle 1 and angle 2. The measure of angle 1 would therefore be 90 degrees. The measure of angle 2 would also be 90 degrees. The sum of the two angles would be 180 degrees. Now if I erase these two and select this angle and rotate it like so I now have angle 3 and angle 4 again the measure of angle 3 plus the measure of angle 4 even though we don't know what they are must be 180 degrees A special relationship exists between two angles whose sum is 90 degrees. Two angles are said to be complementary if the sum of their measures is 90 degrees. In the first example here, it looks very much like what we just did. What we see here, though, is that these are adjacent angles. That means they share a vertex and a common side. These two angles, even though they are not adjacent angles, are still considered complementary because the sum of their angle measures is 90 degrees, 55 plus 35 is 90. Two angles, angles are said to be supplementary if the sum of their measures is 180. And again, this is similar to the um, activity we just did in that these two angles are adjacent. They share a vertex and a side. The measure of angle 3 plus the measure of angle 4 is 180 degrees. These two angles 
not adjacent angles, no common vertex, no common sine, but the fact that the sum of their angles is 180 degrees does indeed make them supplementary angles. Identify each pair of angles as complementary, supplementary, or neither. These two right here, angle 1 and angle 2, are considered supplementary because together they equal 180 degrees. They are also adjacent angles. Um, in example 2, 60 degrees and 30 degrees added together is 90 degrees. Therefore, the two angles are complementary, though they are not adjacent. In the check your progress problems, ang or problem number one, 85 and 90, these angles are neither complementary or supplementary. They are, however, adjacent angles. Uh, the, they are not supplementary because the sum of their angles is 175 degrees. Um, these two angles, in example B, 75 and 15, are in fact complementary because the sum of their angles is 90 degrees. You can use these relationships to find missing measures. Find the value of x. You can see that this is a right angle. Therefore, angle ABC, ABC plus, plus CBD, when added together, equal 90 degrees. We know ABC. We don't know CBD. We can solve them algebraically by undoing what's been done in the variable. We then arrive at a measure of 62 degrees for angle X. We'll do the same in um, example C. We would see that these two angles are supplementary because together they form a 180 degree or straight angle. So therefore 45, I believe that's 46 degrees, plus X equals 180. Um, we subtract 46 from both sides. We get x on this side. We get 134 on this side. So the measure of angle x is 134 degrees, clearly an obtuse angle. If j and k are said to be complementary and the measure of angle 6 of k is 65 degrees, what is the measure of angle j? Well, we would simply have to take 1 or 90 because they're complementary, minus 65. The measure of angle J then would be 25 degrees. Identify each pair of angles as complementary, supplementary, or neither. 135 in example 1 plus 45 is indeed 180, making them supplementary. In example 2, 23 plus 67 is in fact 90 degrees. Therefore, those two angles are considered to be complementary. In number 3, find the value of x. Well, these two angles appear to be supplementary because together they form a straight angle which is a 180 degree angle so we would say 180 equals 45 plus x we subtract 45 from both sides the measure of angle x then is 135 degrees that's actually angle h j g Two vocabulary terms, complementary and supplementary. Again, these should be in the student's notable. They should practice them and memorize them for the vocabulary test for chapter 10. At this point, you should stop the video and go back to my Moodle page and take the lesson 10-2 quiz on my Nike page.